Hi, I'm Harrison. So a few weeks ago, I found these five skateboard decks in the trash. Four. One. Oh, five. One. One man's trash is another man's treasure. They're all broken in half, so I can't skate on them or anything. So I thought it'd be cool to make some sort of epoxy project with it. I, uh, I've been watching John Malecki on YouTube, and I'll link his channel here, or here. Here. I'll link his channel there. I'm actually gonna be using some of his tips from his video. So my plan starting today is that this is an announcement video. I'm gonna start a series. It's gonna be every day. However long it takes me to make this epoxy thing is however many videos I'm gonna take. I'm gonna really strive to make one video every single day starting today. It's, uh, it's gonna be an art piece. It's gonna look different, It's, but it's. I think my end goal is that it's gonna be a coffee table. And it's gonna be the five skateboards in the coffee table. It's gonna be about like five foot by three foot. Yeah, John Malecki, he's like a uh, woodworker on YouTube. He has this video that I'll link here. It's called Five Epoxy Tips I Wish I Knew as a Beginner. It really helped me. That's what I'm gonna base my supply lists off of. And yeah, it's not cheap. I'm already starting to buy some supplies and it is not cheap at all. So I'm planning on following that video close, pretty closely. John has done some pretty cool large scale epoxy projects, which I'll show some B-roll of here. pretty stupid not to use him as, as an example for my epoxy project. I'll put all, I'll put this whole series on a playlist called my epoxy project or something, something like that. And I'll link the playlist if I can, I think I can, I'll link it. Then you guys can follow along with that. Subscribe and like this video. Getting, I'm really excited. Tomorrow's video will be getting my supplies and we're gonna try out some configurations with these boards. I think they're just gonna go like boom, 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 boom. I don't know, I'm gonna try some things out, see what, see what works, see what doesn't work. My end goal is to finish the epoxy and then figure out what to do with a base. I don't know if I'll buy a base from somewhere. I really want to do a, like a metal base and I wanna weld it myself, but I don't have a welder and I don't know anyone nearby that has a welder. So that might happen, I hope it does. I do plan on showing you every single step. That means all my mistakes, all the prices of every supply I do. Like, I'm gonna give you, well that, that'll be a separate video too, but even along the way I'll tell you how much things cost, but I'll do a separate cost breakdown of the whole entire project at the end of the project. If this is interesting to you, please subscribe, comment on the video if you have any questions, and like this video too. <clears throat> share it with your friends. I'll be back tomorrow. For now, I need to make a space in this garage. It's a mess. Let me show you. Okay, so that's what I'm recording on. Look at this. I, I have to use this place here. So I'm gonna clear out, I think, this square next to my mom's car. There's a pretty cool look to them. They're all broken in half. I don't know if you can see it. And then that one right there. The whole tip's broken off. I do like that they're all different. 
I did think about spray painting them to make them all the same, but the, I just don't think it'll look right with the with the grinded up textures of the bottoms. So yeah, I'm excited. Again, like this video, please subscribe. We're, we're all in this together. I've never done this before, so I'm excited. I'm very excited. I think it's gonna turn out really awesome. Cool. See you tomorrow. We're, we gotta get the supplies.